Hi, I'm David Seibeck, NASA's project scientist for the Themis mission. We're looking at results from a global simulation of the solar wind's interaction with the Earth's magnetic field. The Sun is located far to the left, far outside the picture we're looking at. The Earth is a small blue dot at the center of the cavity carved out by the Earth's magnetic field in the oncoming supersonic solar wind. The boundary to the left in the figure is the magnetopause, the outermost reaches of the Earth's magnetic field. The Earth's magnetic field is buffeted by the solar wind flapping back and forth like a windsock in a gust of wind. Only a small fraction of the solar wind mass, momentum, and energy succeed in entering the Earth's magnetic field. The process that controls that entry is magnetic reconnection. Reconnection takes energy away from the magnetic field and gives it to the particles in the plasma. The typical result of reconnection is high-speed flows of energized particles streaming away from the reconnection site. The wispy white structures that you see are regions where energy is being released from the magnetic field and converted into accelerated plasma flows. We're now looking at flows within the simulation. The arrows indicate the direction the plasma is moving, with red indicating flows at very high speeds. Within the magnetotail on the right side of the picture, we see that the arrows are associated with the wispy white regions where energy is being converted from the magnetic field to the plasma by reconnection. Now we're looking at a time later in the simulation. The site of reconnection has moved far down the Earth's magnetotail and is generating flows of plasma, that is arrows, that move to the left towards the Earth and towards the Sun.